From the beginning, Lou Scheinfeld was by his friend's side. Day to day, he was um, intense, focused, um, all business. What people don't realize is that after work and we went out for a drink or two, he had the greatest sense of humor and he was able to let his hair down. We had so much fun. The man whom Ed Snyder wooed away from a city editor's job at the Daily News and gave the new sports facility its name was part of the team that helped to bring hockey to Philadelphia. Ed Snyder uh, was the father of hockey in Philadelphia. Uh, Ed Snyder is the reason the Flyers exist. Uh, people don't realize that in the beginning uh, we almost didn't get a franchise and uh, the franchise, even after we got it, might have been sold and Ed would not let it happen. A Snyder confidant, a right-hand man. It was Scheinfeld whom Snyder entrusted with a $2 million check to buy the Flyers into the NHL. And I'm thinking, um, I should probably get a receipt or get something. I said, uh, Mr. Campbell, did we get the franchise? He says, if your check clears, which I doubt. And I said, okay. So now I'm thinking, well, Ed Snyder's back in Philadelphia. He busted his hump to get this $2 million over the weekend. I don't even have a piece of paper. He's probably going to want a receipt. So I said, is there a piece of paper? They said, that'll be all. It was during those early days that Snyder leaned on Scheinfeld, and as the Spectrum and the Flyers thrived, Lou took it as an honor. He loved working for his boss and his friend. Ed had a big heart. A lot of people didn't know that. He loved his employees. He loved his players. He was very polite to everybody, whether you were a uh, janitor or senior vice president. Ed was, uh, Ed got it. Ed, he really got it. On a daily basis, the former president of the 76ers and Flyers VP saw a private side of Ed Snyder that most people couldn't see. You know, I remember one of the secretaries saying to him, uh, uh, I would invite you over to my house because I'm having a barbecue, but you probably don't eat hamburgers. He said, don't eat hamburgers? I love hamburgers. He says, I, I'll be happy to come and have a hamburger and a beer. Scheinfeld believes the likes of what Ed Snyder accomplished will never be seen again. He was one of a kind. I don't think there'll, there will ever be another person like Ed Snyder who did it all, who, who got the team started, who made it grow, who made it a success, who took the Flyers and made them a, an icon nationally and internationally, and did it for 50 years. 50 years coming into the office every day. Today, the drive to the sports complex is lonelier. Scheinfeld finds himself as the last of the original Flyers group who started operations in 1966, clearly not something with which he's comfortable. The Spectrum and his friend are both gone. Now, as he looks back on all those great times, he will still work a smile and miss them both every day. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm heart sick, I gotta tell you. I'm just heart sick. It's been so sad.